<clears throat> Here we go again. Welcome. Uh, yesterday's video went huge. I broke a hundred views on one of my mukbangs, and it wasn't even my first one. My first one is at, uh, oh, sorry. First one's at like 40 views. And it's all because of Nikocado Avocado. Hmm. I click baited him. I click baited Nikocado Avocado. Because, like, three minutes into the last mukbang, I was like, Mm -hmm. I was like, am I the new Nikocado Avocado? And I might just be. Because he's not making any content at the moment. And I am. Guess where I was? In the hospital. For this. There's a big-ass boil right here. It kind of went down a little bit in size. But it's fucking huge. But I popped it a few days ago and it got this huge-ass bruise. So, I was in the hospital, like, all day. It's 8.45. <laughs> I normally record these at, like, 9 in the morning. Um, I do have a second channel, by the way. Um, it's called Healthy Mukbangs GP. And I try to upload five times a week on that channel. Um, the energy I'm putting in this mukbang is normally the energy I put into that mukbang. Because I'm trying to do two a day. Um, tomorrow is Saturday. I got a job to do. I'm going to the farmer's market and doing speed portraits. Um, this is my paint palette. It's a Tupperware container. And it keeps my acrylic paints fresh for a while. These are a couple days old. And I can touch them still. And they're wet! It's so wild. Just having a Tupperware container for your paints was such a big idea. And this one's uh, for a pie. Mmm. As you notice, there's a couple new things. On my second channel, I once brought a bowl of these. These are Saskatoons. They're just in season right now, where I live. They're, they're just getting ripe now. Mm -hmm. Got a, uh, a Nest Tea sh Zero Sugar Lemon Iced Tea. I'm going to finish that after the mukbang. Actually, I'm thirsty, though. I got this water. But those aren't the only berries. I have cherry berries. Authentic cherries. They're in season. And they're like in season for two weeks around here. And that's it. And then you're done. Squanchy, you'd love it if cherries are available year round, right? He thinks so too. I'm going to try to eat some of these greens before I get to these berries. Um, I never knew you could eat raw asparagus before I just bought raw asparagus to eat on this channel. As you notice, there's nothing cooked on my channel.
I have a feeling this mukbang won't do as good as yesterday's. But that's okay. <laughs> this um, green pepper is a little uh, soft. I've been away all day. I have smoked weed though. <laughs> I rolled some joints and smoked them when I was out and about today. This is the kind of lettuce, it's called the devil's lettuce, but it's the kind of lettuce that I could really enjoy on this show. I ate a whole head of lettuce as a challenge. It took me over an hour. It's like a never again type of thing, <laughs> but I'll probably do something crazy like that again. cherries. Can I just like dump them all out on my table? I'd be okay with that. Oh no! Dropping berries, not my apple. Yeah, that's what I should have did before the cameras rolled. How many did I drop? Did you see? Did you count them? I only found two. Well, it's past the five second or die rule. There's a bag that I sent to the compost that on my floor, right in between my table. So I'm not just pitting them on the floor. Oh man. There, cherry just fell. Oh look! The cherry in the bag got left behind. Feels weird eating cherries on this channel. Cherries feel like such a treat in my life. Mmm. My hair was tied up. That was just for ease of convenience at the hospital. Mmm, that's what this clickbait title should be. I was in a hospital. Here you go, look, a little bit of cherry there. You gonna eat that? I don't think he is, I'm gonna eat it though. You know, ah, shit. I was gonna eat that, but I dropped it. Definitely not gonna <laughs> eat it now. What a convenient drop, wouldn't you say? It was not convenient, Squanchy. That's right. 
Da! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I made him jump. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, I upset him. Uh, Squanchy, you're in for the night. It's past 8.30. I was literally in the hospital for like, what, um, I was going to say like eight hours, but I think it's closer to like six and a half. I was in the hospital for like six and a half hours today. Hey, Swanchi. With all this garbage in your way. I drew some pictures. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see them because they're kind of uh, um. Here's the first two pictures I drew. Uh, this is a picture from my imagination. This is a picture of my mom driving the car. And this is a guy that was in the um, waiting room with his mask on, covering his face. And this is over here is a, a paint, uh, a plain, en plain air painting, as they say. I painted it outside of outside. It might actually be the first painting. Well, I painted outside before, but not of the outside. I just happened to be outside while I was painting cats. Um, yeah, I'm not much of a landscape artist. Yet. I'm giving it a go. That's going to move my water. I can see it's <laughs> After I'm done this mukbang, I might not even upload it right away. I'm gonna go have a bath. Um, did I ever tell you 
the story. No. <laughs> Get my oh fuck. Fuck. I wasn't done with that, but now I don't see it. Whatever, it was just like the last little piece of a fucking asparagus. Get over it. What are you gonna cry? So anyway, I didn't really have a story planned. I just wanted to uh, start telling a story and then just uh, have one fall in place. But like, what am I going to tell? The time my Seinfeld DVDs are stolen? I've told that story so many times. I'm not even good at telling it. All I know is that I'll never order Domino's again. Unless I get an apology from the Domino's Corporation a full-on apology for one of their drivers stealing my Seinfeld nine season DVD box set with the special feature DVD disc a replacement and probably like a year's worth of free Zaz. That'd be useless to me. Look at me eating these Vegetables. I'm eating a carrot right now. I'm gonna do with a year's worth of pizzas. This is what a year's worth of pizzas look like for fucking 15 years of your life. Um, I don't really resent being fat. Though I don't particularly enjoy it either. He's just getting comfy. Don't mind him, he just doesn't shut up. Squanchy? <laughs> uh, oh. I didn't even get to my Saskatoon's yet. I'm feeling pretty full. But I picked these Saskatoons specifically for this shoot. Mmm. They're very reminiscent of blueberries, kind of. But they have a different flavor. And I almost prefer them. But I think that's a part of them, me. Like, I grew up here. I've been eating these berries off these trees my whole life. Oops. I remember picking these Saskatoons and running into my grandfather. My grandfather was picking Saskatoons as well. I was picking them so my parents could can them so we could eat them with ice cream throughout the year. My grandfather was making wine out of them. Apparently alcoholics kind of run in my family. And my dad, though he does drink, <laughs> is like the least of the alcoholics. I'm picking up the odd berry here and there. Um, just because they don't look appetizing. Mmm. I should just pour them in my mouth like this. Can I drop one? Yeah! I had one in my beard. Mm. I'm just trying to eat it down to the one cup line. Yeah, because the last time I ate these berries, I picked like three cups for this show. And that was too many. And uh, this cup might be too much. With the addition of these cherries. Mm. 
My aim. Gotta fix my aim. Isn't that right, ladies? Men got aim. <laughs> the toilet seat. And then at least clean up. Clean the toilets every once in a while after pissing all over them. <laughs> Apparently, if you open up a cherry seed, mm. there's like a soft shell to the inside of the seed that is very toxic. Apparently, it's like, a, um, crap, what is it? It's the one that supposedly smells like almonds. That one poison. Arsenic? There's like trace elements of arsenic. So if you swallow a cherry seed, it's probably no big deal. It'll probably just pass through your system. But if it's cracked, that's a whole nother story. It might be slightly poisonous. To what extent, I don't know, but apparently it's no bueno. I got dessert left now. I got berries, a grapefruit, and cherries. The thing about these um, Saskatoons, they they have these little tips to them. They're a bit fibrous. That is mildly unpleasant. So, that's one of the bigger reasons. I guess blueberries do taste better. Mm. I never get blueberries, though. They're so expensive. Mm. Let's peel my grapefruit. One and the one go home. Day, me say day, me say day, me say day. Oh, daylight one and the one go home. All that makes me think of is the scene from Beetlejuice. <laughs> Come, Mr. Coconut, bring me my banana. Daylight one and the one go home. <laughs> uh, Tim Burton made so many films of uh, my youth. I really liked the remake of the <laughs> Planet of the Apes. I don't know if I really liked it. I kind of liked it. It was a kid at the time. I should give it another go. Might reevaluate my statement. So with the grapefruit, the skin tastes awful. So you gotta peel off the skin. What you'd normally eat is the wedge of an orange. Oh, man, that grapefruit's good. <clears throat> Let's shout out on these ch locally grown berries. Man, those trees tried so hard. Fuck. 
are your starving kids in Africa. They could eat that berry, but no, I had to drop it on the floor and get all my artistic. What is that down there? It's just an artist's floor, I guess. It's just a dirty. <laughs> I hope it makes some money tomorrow at the farmer's market. Painting portraits. Memory squanty. I should paint your portrait. I'm just trying to pound these berries. Mm. They're so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Am I getting a sour taste? That was like a sour taste face. <sighs> Come, Mr. Taliban, bring me my bun. Now I got it stuck in my head and I don't even know all the words. I have to think of a different song. Um, <laughs> Look at the stars. Look how they shine for you and everything you do. And it's all the color orange, too. Your skin. <laughs> yeah, your skin and bones. Yeah, look at this. This is just skin and bones right here. Yeah, I gotta get to this operation to remove this excess skin because yeah it's all just muscle under there under all that skin <laughs> my sister is gonna be in town which means my niece is going to be in town. She's one of my favorite people ever. She's so excited to see her grandma. But she doesn't know she's going to see Uncle Garrett. Oh yeah, check this out. You see how I'm wearing my boxers or underwear? It is now known as my uncle wear. I wear my uncle wear to these shoots. That's right. Uncle on the prowl for some aunties. Looking for thick aunties. Okay, I'm not really on the prowl. being on a different plane of existence and all you did was smoke a marijuana bowl and cough your lungs out and then you're just somewhere else. Every time I do that, have a big blow, um, I go through a different universe and I jump, just not me, like not, not like in the multiverse of madness where the, her body transfers to the multiverse, it's just the essence of me and I just jump into a new body of me, so... Uh... Big naked fat guy in front of a camera and I'm eating berries and food. I think I've been in this universe before. Oh, hey! What? What are you doing? No! Get away from that camera! No! All right. Yeah, I don't know. There's some guy in the corner. He claims to be my cameraman. He just came and shut off the camera and gave me the down low. 
So I'm all caught up. Back in this universe. I'm ready to go. I feel like taking another toe credit now, just to see if I could, uh, like, fake it into the next universe, but... Whatever. I'm here. I'm living. It's very important that I keep this body alive. Oh yeah, <laughs> when the camera stopped recording there too. Um, the dog upstairs, a little chihuahua, barking his head off. We have a guest. My sister and my niece. So I'm just gonna finish up this video, because I'm busy. And then I'm going to go run and say hi. I'm also going to have a big lengthy bath because of a boil on my leg. That was a little wedge. Hell yeah, brother. See you tomorrow. I'll try and be back tomorrow after my uh, painting sessions at the farmer's market. <laughs>